Hey, welcome to today's segment on liquid and water atomization. This is a method for producing metal powders used in powder injection molding. In this video, I'll be focusing on the processes that happen inside the atomizer, which can be seen here boxed in red. The atomization process begins by pouring the metal into a furnace where it is heated and kept in liquid form. Next, the metal is poured out through a hole into the atomization tank. Here, several high pressure jets will spray out the liquid and disintegrate the metal. One thing to take a note of is that these jets play an important role in determining particle size. The final size of the particles can be controlled by adjusting the pressure of these jets. Some of the liquids you could use include water or oils, with water being the most common fluid for low reactive materials that melt below approximately 1600 degrees Celsius. Once the melt is disintegrated, the particles are rapidly quenched and solidified. As you can see in this image, this process produces rough and irregularly shaped particles. Once the particles solidify, they are collected at the bottom of the atomization tank. And here is a quick clip of the whole process. Next, I'll be explaining what's going on during the disintegration of the melt stream. During this process, particles can be generated in one of four ways. These mechanisms include cratering, splashing, stripping, and bursting. As you can see here, cratering happens when a water droplet hits the melt stream. This forces out a melt droplet, which will eventually solidify into a particle. Keep in mind that water droplets evaporate due to the high temperature of the melt stream. This next animation shows a splashing mechanism. During this process, a water droplet splashes against the melt stream, causing several melt droplets to form. The third mechanism is stripping. This happens when water droplets strip melt away from the stream, almost as if the melt is being scraped off. The fourth mechanism is bursting. This happens when water hits a melt droplet and breaks it up into smaller particles. Note, bursting produces the smallest particles out of all the four mechanisms. All four of these mechanisms create rough and irregularly shaped particles. One reason this happens is because the liquid cools the particles quickly. Be aware that I use water as an example for the different mechanisms but other liquids can be used to produce the same effects. To recap, I explain how the metal powders used in metal injection molding are made through liquid and water atomization. I also went over the four mechanisms of particle generation, which were cratering, splashing, stripping, and bursting. This concludes today's segment on liquid and water atomization.